My name is Kristen Schofer. I'm, um, I'm just finishing my third year as a graduate student at Florida State University College of Medicine, um, and I'm in the Neural Systems and Behavior course this year. Uh, wow, so what do I say about this course? Um, having received both my bachelor's education and my graduate education at the same university, um, my view of the neuroscience field as a whole has been pretty remote and restricted to the um, mostly standard animal models we work with at my university. And so coming to this course, it's been absolutely mind-blowing um, to understand all of these different questions that are better suited for um, non-standard model systems. Um, one week I was working with uh, some weekly electric like exotic fish from, from Amazon River, I scooped them out and shipped them over here. Uh, then the next I'm working with a um, small little freshwater organism, Hydra vulgaris, that uh, we don't even know if they have real like synapses like we know of. Um, and so it's been absolutely incredible to um, expand my mind and realize what types of questions we can address um, as neuroscientists using um, a breadth of uh, animal species that are not just mice and flies. Um, that being said, you know, this course does offer incredible opportunities to use advanced technologies and more standard models as well. So when working with uh, the weekly electric fish, uh, working side by side with uh, Dr. Michael Markham from um, University of Oklahoma, uh, so we were working with these um, electrocytes, so the, the electric organ there. And we were trying this experiment to apply a certain drug, and every time we'd apply the drug, it would just fail. Our, it would look like our cell would die, and uh, we fought day and night. We were doing 12-hour you know, incubations in this drug and uh, troubleshooting things for the better part of a full day. And we finally decided, okay, let's, let's watch the prep while we apply the drug. It's just a piece of tail, you know, can't do too much. And we actually found that the tail started twitching when we applied our drug, uh, much to our surprise. And um, once we figured that out, it was just like data, data all day. <laughs> and we, stay, we ended up staying until about 4 a.m. that night collecting data. We were so excited because we had been missing out for the last few days. Um, so it was, it was really incredible to uh, troubleshoot and, and see how, you know, senior faculty can do things and uh, it, it was very rewarding to kind of overcome that, that major step and um, yeah.